Hello, it's Marquez here from bsvsearch.com. Welcome to this exploration of the future of data storage and data integrity on the blockchain. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating concept of ordinals within the Bitcoin Satoshi Vision BSV framework. And I'm thrilled to share with you the incredible potential of ordinals and how they're going to revolutionize the way we interact with blockchain technology. As technology continues to advance at an astonishing pace, it is crucial to stay ahead of the curve and ordinals have emerged as a game changer in the blockchain community, offering innovative solutions that are accessible and practical for individuals, businesses, and governments alike. And in this video, we're going to uncover how this new groundbreaking technology can potentially impact our lives and share the future of data storage, integrity, and security. In simple terms, ordinals represent the order or a sequence of items in a list. You may have encountered ordinals when you're ranking your preferences like, this is my first favorite book, my second favorite book, and my third favorite book. All of a sudden, the words first, second, third uh, become ordinals. So that's the concept of ordinals. Quite simple, right? But in the world of blockchain, Ordinals take on a whole new meaning because here they represent any kind of file, whether it is an image, text, or web page. And this file, whatever it is, is written onto a Satoshi in the BSV blockchain or on the BSV blockchain. Let me give you an analogy to better understand this concept. Just like a dollar or a euro, can be divided into smaller units, like 100 cents or pennies. A Bitcoin can be split into 100 million Satoshis. Now imagine if one of these Satoshis could encapsulate a, a valuable piece of data, like a song, or an artwork, or a certificate of house ownership. That tiny Satoshi would no longer be just a Satoshi because it would become a symbol of value. It represents the digital asset or the asset that it holds. And, and by transferring this Satoshi, you're essentially passing on ownership of that asset. So it's like trading a physical item, but digital. Um, of course, you know, it has to be sort of in, in, in certain cases, like when we're talking about transferring ownership of cars or uh, real estate property, then that just needs to be regulated and, uh, and accepted as uh, a proper form of transferring assets. While this might sound like a fantasy in our tangible world, it is a concrete reality in the digital landscape of Bitcoin. Each Satoshi can now hold a contract, a song, a book, or even an artwork. And these are what we call ordinals, and they are imprinted or in, inscribed onto individual Satoshis with a unique ordinal number, which signifies the order of inscription on the blockchain. Now you might wonder, why would I store files on the BSV blockchain when I can keep them on my computer and I can share them as they are already? And that's a valid question. But consider this. What if your computer's hard drive fails and you lose all your valuable files without a backup? This is a common risk that we all face. And there's no one else apart from you who's incentivized to back up your data. Similarly, storing data with businesses or organizations can also be risky if they go bankrupt or get hacked or something else. And this is where ordinals on the BSV blockchain truly shine because they are recorded on a decentralized system that exists as long as there are individuals around the globe 
who are willing to keep a copy of the blockchain. This then creates a reliable backup and ensures that the integrity of your files is maintained over time. And additionally, when an ordinal is inscribed, the date, the time, and the Bitcoin addresses involved are permanently recorded. This indelible timestamp is particularly significant in an age of AI and deep fakes where verifying the authenticity of documents, of images and videos is paramount. I've talked about this in a previous article that I wrote where I'm concerned about in this day, age of AI where it is easy to create deep fakes. How can we tell the truth? How can we tell if a photograph we're looking at is actually true or was it uh, faked? And by using ordinals or by use, and using the blockchain, we can have a way of actually at least verifying the fact that at this time, this file has existed. So what can you do with ordinals on the Bitcoin BSV blockchain? Well, think of it as having access to a global ultra secure hard drive that you can tap into anytime, anywhere from any device that's connected to the BSV blockchain. It is an opportunity for everyone to create, collect, and share digital art, music, and memories that will stand the test of time. For businesses, ordinals open up a world of possibilities. They allow you to create and sell unique digital products or services and record the vital information, establish customer loyalty programs, advertise globally, and protect intellectual property rights. Imagine citing an ordinal to prove your ownership over your own digital creations, which can be automatically referenced by agencies collecting royalties for you. Governments can also leverage ordinals to their advantage. What's a blockchain? A blockchain is basically a public database, so governments can use it to inscribe public data with the proper, secure, uh, and efficient access uh, mechanisms, of course. They can streamline operational processes. The applications would be limitless. Wouldn't this cut off most of the administrative and bureaucracy processes that you and I have to go through and literally waste our time on as we go through certain stages of our lives? So to sum it all up, ordinals represent a promising leap forward in how blockchains can assist us as individuals or as businesses or our governments by providing innovative solutions to age-old challenges of data storage, integrity, and security. They empower individuals to preserve their unique digital creations assist businesses in creating distinctive products and maintaining essential records. And it also helps governments to streamline operations with unparalleled efficiency. So as we navigate this digital age, ordinals in the Bitcoin SV blockchain can stand as an exciting beacon of progress and potential, transforming the way we interact with store and value data. You can start your journey with uh, platforms like onesatordinals.com, im.world, and reallyx.com. These guys don't pay me to tell you about them. Uh, it's just a simple fact that they are the pioneers of, of ordinals in BSV at the moment. If you have a related question, or an experience or a story to share that's related to ordinals, please get in contact with me at bsvsearch.com. There is a, there's a form there that you can just uh, fill out. If you are a developer and you're working on ordinals, uh, or if you're a professional having to do with ordinals, like you're researching it or what have you, 
uh, including non-technical concerns like legal, if you're looking at it from a legal perspective, regulatory perspective or accounting or its impact on society, that sort of thing, reach out to me. And, and we can see if we can have a chat about it on this channel, we can get the chance to um, discuss it from your perspective as well. In the meantime, please subscribe to this YouTube channel because I intend to produce videos showing practical demonstrations of using, inscribing and managing ordinals. So until next time, this is Marquez from bsvsearch.com. Bye-bye.